Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this lesson, we're going to look at the physics division number 11. So we have two questions on electricity. The circuit shows shown in figure 5 was used to determine R, the resistance of a resistor, using the, the equation. So this is the equation that was used. The value of R is determined for different values of current I. You've seen current I. This one there. Name the components labeled X and Y. Where is X is what we call a variable resistor. The other name for a variable resistor is a uh, real start. So this is what we call a variable. X is a variable resistor. You've seen the symbol. Master the symbol. Or oh, it's called a real start. Y. Y. Which side is connected to, to, to the positive side? So this is a positive side. So it's coming like that. So this is the ammeter. The ammeter is connected on the positive side. What is the purpose of the component X? This one. What's the purpose of the area of that or a variable resistor? The variable resistor, it changes what? The value of the current in a circuit. Just to change the current. Change the value of current in a what in a circuit by valley resistance. So it vary it varies resistance. That's why it's called a variable resistor. C explain how you would use the apparatus to determine the values of R. Your answer should be should include what you should do before you close the switch. How would you use this apparatus to determine the value of R? The value of R. Now, what is the value of R? The R value of R is just the resistance. So, what you do is that you need to set this one, X. So, set X to the maximum point. Step 1. Set X to maximum what? Value. And close the switch and close what the switch now once you do that you just you now have to start adjusting remember it's a variable so this can move you start varying varying it like that it's something which is like this okay then there's something like a wire which you can move this can move this side it can move this side that's how it is so you'll be varying moving it uh, a wrong side like that now adjust x so that you can obtain a good value of what of current okay so adjust x so that you can get a good value of current measure voltage in Z as well. That's all. The value of R is about 9.5. So they are saying the value of R here is about 9.5 ohms. And the current through it, and the current passing through here, it's uh, 0 0.1 amperes. What would be a good choice for the maximum reading of the component labeled Z? What would be the maximum? What would be the maximum reading? Or what would be the good choice for the maximum reading? Now, what is the telling us here? This whatever is connected here, this Z is the voltmeter. If Z is a voltmeter, what does the voltmeter measure? Voltage. We're just finding voltage. Current times resistance. So 9.5 times 0.1. This will give us 0 0.95 volts. That's what they're just asking about. Okay, let's look at this question. 
the question says uh figure seven shows how a current how a student set up a circuit using three identical lamps assume that the resistance of each lamp does not change with the brightness of the lamp okay so they're saying resistance doesn't change okay with the brightness of the wattage of the lamp that must be a very key point to note to note here calculate each lamp is labeled 12 volts and 2.0 amperes so each lamp has got this lamp p lamp q lamp r they all have this calculate the resistance of one of the lamps so resistance is equal to voltage over current voltage they are saying is 12 and the current of each lamp is what is uh, is 2 so this will give me 6 ohms okay let's go Calculate the combined resistance of the three lamps as connected. Okay. Hmm. So this one has got six. Okay. This one has got what? Six. Even this one has got what? Six. Take these two are in parallel. And this one is in series. Okay. If that's the case, let's we are, we are taking this. So total resistance is equal to these two in parallel. It will be six times six over 6 plus 6 these two in parallel then plus this one in series so plus 6 what is 6 times um, 6 times 6 is 36 over 12 plus 6 this will give us uh, 3 plus 6 to give us 9 ohms as the total resistance Calculate the current which would be shown on the ammeter reading. Current is equal to voltage times what? Sorry, voltage over resistance. Now, when the, when they say a current that will be shown here, they are meaning the total current time. So we have to use the total voltage here, which is 12 volts over total resistance, which is 9 ohms. When divide is giving me 1.3 amperes. Explain why lamp A is less bright than normal and why lamps P and Q are both equally very dim. So, I think it was supposed to be not lamp A but lamp R. Sorry, it's supposed to be lamp R. Why is lamp R less bright than normal? Okay, and why are lamps P and Q both equally very dim? P and Q are in what? in parallel that means they are have they have the same voltage but they, they don't have the same current okay so the voltage across R is less than the the one flowing here remember P and Q they have the same voltage the 12 but this one does it is the, the voltage flowing here is not 12 it's less than 12 so in R less voltage is what flowing okay uh, then they the, the, uh, they are saying the current also through p and q are, are what the voltage through p and q are what are equal okay and voltage P and Q are what? What are is the voltage across P and Q what is equal, making current unless I sum them up become becoming what becoming what equal. Therefore, the current through P and Q since it is less than that of what R. Hence, the current. P 
and q is less of course is less than that of r yes so one thing that you must know about it, when two lamps or when two resistors are in parallel they have the same voltage and la less current current is not the same by the way but when resistors are in series they have the same current and the voltage is different therefore when these two lamps are in parallel they have the same voltage hence current here is less than here but current here is more than here so that's what we're trying to talk about here all right guys thank you so much thank you for following me in this individual video i'll see you in the next video